Embryology is the study of prenatal development, which is the time from fertilization till birth. A developing human is referred to as an embryo until the eighth week and a fetus from the ninth week until birth. During this presentation, we will be focusing on the embryonic stage of development. The first weeks of development are characterized by several events, including fertilization, cleavage of the zygote, blastocyst formation and implantation. Fertilization occurs when sperm cell fuses with a secondary oocyte within the fallopian tubes to form a single diploid cell. After fertilization, rapid mitotic cell divisions of the zygote take place. This is called cleavage. The number of cells continues to increase as it moves through the fallopian tube towards the uterus by peristalsis. At the 32 cell stage, the developing mass is called a blastocyst. A blastocyst is a hollow ball of cells differentiated into a trophoblast and an embryoblast. It is still about the same size as the original zygote. The embryoblast or inner cell mass will eventually develop into the embryo. The trophoblast or outer shell will develop into the chorionic sac and the fetal portion of the placenta. It takes around six days for the blastocyst to make its way into the uterine cavity and loosely attach itself into the endometrium. By week three, the blastocyst is now nestled in the nutrient-rich lining of the endometrium and has begun to produce the pregnancy hormone HCG, which tells your ovaries to stop releasing eggs. In the fourth week after fertilization, the embryo is about the size of a poppy seed. It undergoes a process called embryonic folding due to the rapid longitudinal growth of the neural tube. In embryonic folding, the embryo is essentially converted from a flat two-dimensional trilaminar embryonic disc to a three-dimensional cylinder. The cylinder consists of the endoderm in the centre, ectoderm outside and mesoderm in between. Organogenesis also occurs during the fourth week. This is where specific tissues and systems are beginning to differentiate from the trilaminar embryo. The neural tube from which the embryo's brain, spinal cord and nerves will come from are starting to develop in the top layer, called the ectoderm. This layer will also give rise to the skin, hair, nails, mammary and sweat glands and tooth enamel. The heart and circulatory system begin to form in the middle layer or mesoderm. The mesoderm will also form your baby's muscles, cartilage, bone and subcutaneous tissue. The third layer, or endoderm, will house the lungs, intestines and early urinary system, as well as the thyroid, liver and pancreas. During the fifth week, growth of the head is considerable due to the rapid development of the brain. Emerging arms and legs can be seen as protruding limb buds. The heart and circulatory system also begin to form in the mesoderm and are visible externally as a bulge along with the liver and umbilical cord. At this point, the embryo is about the size of a sesame seed and looks like a tiny tadpole rather than a human. In week 6, the nose, mouth and ears are starting to take shape and the intestines and lungs are beginning to develop. The neck and trunk begin to straighten and the heart starts to pump blood throughout the body. It's about the size of a lentil. By the 7th week, the embryo has doubled in size. Its little hands and feet that look more like paddles are emerging from the developing arms and legs. Cartilage is starting to be replaced with bone by endochondrial ossification in the limbs and throughout the rest of the embryo. The newly developed pancreas also starts to secrete the hormone insulin to aid in future digestion. The embryo is now about the size of a blueberry. The embryonic tail is just about gone by week 8. Upper limbs have become longer and bent at the elbow and digits become distinct and no longer webbed giving the embryo more human-like characteristics although it is still only about the size of a kidney bean. Internal organs such as the liver and lungs continue to develop and nerve cells are branching out to connect with each other, forming primitive neural pathways. At the end of week 8, about 90% of the adult's anatomical structures are formed. This is the final week of embryonic development. After this, we describe all future development inside the womb as fetal development. The fetal stage allows for the further maturation of the organ systems developed in the embryonic stage, leading to a smooth transition to independent living outside the womb.